APOB reacts to Umayi's possible ambition of becoming vice president come 2023. Hello, wonderful people. We know that the indigenous people of Biafra are against, um, you know, um, the Igbos remaining as part of Nigeria. As a matter of fact, we we'll want a republic because um, they feel marginalized, not been given a, a position, um, opportunity to bring their, um, to bring, you know, what's important to Nigeria to make it a great nation. As a matter of fact, stemming from what has happened before, Nigerian government has not treated um, them well, and when the British came, they, they, they joined, you know, some areas that should not, and as such, they want a uh, republic. Uh, separately. David Umayi, uh, PDP governor, who later became APC governor, secret has been revealed that is because he has a vice presidential ambition in heart. Uh, yet that's why he said uh, PDP has nothing to offer and has been unfair to his region. Let's understand all that is going on. Towards the end of 2020, the incumbent governor of Ebony State, David Umayi, deflected from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the ruling party, the All Progressive Congress, APC. Many stakeholders believe he's nursing the ambition of becoming either the vice president or, better still, the president of the country. Recently, some indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB members, shared videos revealing the alleged atrocity of Fulani headsmen in the state, unfortunately, Umayi ordered the arrest of these members. In IPOB's reaction to Umayi's action, the media and publicity secretary of the group, Emmanuel Powerful, said the governor's action is unpatriotic, according to the Powerful. He said the governor has chosen to eat with the opposition of his people. As reported by Sahar reporters, IPOB showed their displeasure on the action of the governor as the group said, David Umayi took such an action due to his ambition of becoming the vice president of Nigeria in 2023. IPOB, which under the leadership of the of Nandi Kano, has warned David Umayi to desist from such grievous action, that is, leave the residents of the state alone, as his implication will not be good for the state. So David Umayi is not seen to become the vice president of the country. The reason he said he left P PDP was because PDP has not been fair to his region. PDP has left his region in a, a, a place that they've not given them opportunity to be able to um, have, have a, 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 you know, say that PDP has been in the region for some time now and um, PDP has not been fair to the region at all. PDP has gone ahead, uh, had many elections, had many wonderful th things done, yet has not given opportunity for any for anybody in the Southeast to get like real meaningful position. Although we know that the person of um, Wiki answered him by saying, the PDP that is not fair is from there you were a commissioner to a deputy governor and then a governor. It's from there we have these people and he began to name them to him, saying, if you are speaking of fairness, think about the PDP and what he has done. Anyway, David Umayi is being said that is not seeing presidential ambition, and that is why he's neglecting his people and will not want to stand with them, and as such, you know, causing catastrophe. Recently, the one he did most recently is that he, went, he has sent message to all PDP leaders in the state. Remember that his first tenure, beginning of his second tenure, he's been a PDP member. And as a party, they have vehicles, things to facilitate and encourage the, the uh, party. You know what he did recently? He, he sent message to all PDP members, uh, leaders that had a vehicle branded PDP that was given under his administration, that if they are not going to deflect to APC, they should return the vehicle. There's a lot of catastrophe, I mean, going on presently in Ebony State. But the truth of it is, is that in Nigeria, there is no rule of law. Nobody goes there, just like what is going on in Imo State. How can, honestly speaking to God, disclaimer, I don't have anything to do. I'm not a politician. 
I don't have anything to do with PDP or APC or any party as such. All we at Apple Line Media are clamoring for good Nigeria, a place of truth, justice, fairness for all Nigerians. As a matter of fact, we can become a great nation. Have you seen small, small nations that have resources, how they have utilized it? And today, people, the, the islands, people are going all over these places for tourism, for a tourist attraction, and they are even making more money. We have all these resources to make us a people, a giant of Africa, which was once said was our name. But guess what? We have selfish, wicked people who have squandered this money and want to amass wealth of a whole country. One person in Nigeria has it. The wealth of a whole country is being owned by a single man. Why greed? Why our roads are left neglected? Our schools in shambles? No educational structure. As a matter of fact, if you've not heard, ASU is embarking on another strike. Primary education, where is the foundation, the bedrock of children's learning in the, in the, in the bin? No structure in, in a civil life. Civil workers, there is nothing in place. So what we are crying for at Apple Line Media is good governance for Nigerians that all may live in a place where they are comfortable. You don't have to travel overseas. You don't have to leave the shores of this country. You can go there, spend holiday. Of course, some people would say, I mean, 20 children cannot play together, cannot stay, children that are placed together for a period of their growing up may not stay together for another 10 years. It's a true reality, it's a true fact. As a matter of fact, some will relocate, life will happen, different things. Before you know it, they begin to square up. Everybody begin to align to where they are supposed to be. Some will be more advantageous than the others. That's the true reality of life. So what are we talking about at Apple Line Media? It's wrong for you to begin to oppress people because you are, you know, you are now on the other side of the train. You were once on this side of the train. You know the ideology. You know what the motto was. All of a sudden, you're on this other side. So all we are crying for at Apple Line Media is a true reflection of justice, integrity, and honor for all Nigerians, a place we can truly call home. For if, if this is a, a advanced country, how dare a, a, a hope go there and start destroying structures that belongs to a whole state? No, it's wrong. I don't have any, I don't, like we said, disclaimer, nothing with any, no affiliation with any political party. But let truth be told. Let fairness be seen. That is the cause. That is the bedrock of justice. We'd like you to leave us a comment. God bless you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Don't forget, this new year, make it count. Bye for now.